You, you can hear me clearly? Yes. Okay. So session number 10. Faith. 
Amen. So the kingdom message is transforming. So why the gospel of the kingdom? It brings transformation. Religion does not bring transformation. It brings bondage. Because when you speak about religion, you're going, people will come up with traditions of men. Because religion is man's way of reaching God. Yeah? So when you come with man's way and man's ideas, people will be bonded. There is no transformation. But the gospel of the kingdom brings transformation. And when people get transformed, they enjoy life. They are not in prison. Religion in a letter Ufungwa. That's why you hear some people like in my village as well. Many people in Kanisa So the main people being in charge is the day when they are getting married. Was equal. I mean, when they enter Kanisa, they are required to sit in Kanisa in the room. Some say, "I when the church becomes a social club, a social club, so people go there as a social club. There is no transformation in social clubs. They go for entertainment. So the church is not supposed to be a social club. It is a life-giving center. Yeah. yeah. When, when, when we are in the church, people are coming to get life. They are coming to get hope. People who are hopeless, they come and get revived in the church. So the kingdom message brings transformation. Matthew 4, 17. From that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So the kingdom message requires man to repent. To repent. And of course, we understand the word repent is not about feeling sorry. You know, religion makes you feel, I'm very sorry, I made a mistake. But they are helpless. After that, what happens? But repenting is about transformation, change of mindset. That's repenting. Huh? You change of the way you do things. That is repenting. So repenting is not those religious actions that sometimes people do. Eh? Religious actions. Uh, you know, we are living in a generation that people have very, very funny, interesting ways of repenting. Eh? They, they, they do some rituals in the name of repenting, but there is no transformation. The person is still, if they were lying, they are still lying. But they say, I'm here repenting. Now, repenting is where you know light is bad and we stop lying. That's now we repented. But not feeling sorry, you know, I lied. I'm very sorry. That is not repenting. And then repeating it. Yeah, so, uh, so repentance uh, is about the change of lifestyle, change of mindset. So, Jesus wanted them to think kingdom way. They are waiting for the kingdom, but Jesus is saying that now the kingdom of God is at hand. Do what? Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. In other words, change the way you are thinking. Now you have the kingdom with you. Don't wait for it any longer. It is here. So behave like the kingdom of God is already at hand. You are not waiting for it. So in other words, once you hear the gospel of the kingdom, you will see things differently, understand differently from the way you have, been, uh, you have understood things before. So, the gospel of the kingdom brings transformation in the mindset. Then, you understand things in a better way. You understand life in a better way, in the kingdom way, not in the religious way. 
To one's life is transformed by the message because it requires your mind to be renewed to God's way of doing things. So this message makes us do things God's way. Yeah? Because we receive the message on how to do things. So the message of the kingdom makes us do things God's way. Not our way, not our traditions, not religiously, but we do things God's way. And now we'll have a church that is growing. We'll not have denominations. Because the gospel is one. Why are people doing things differently? Why are different beliefs? Because of what? The message. So if you want one message, So the kingdom message is revelatory. It has a revelation. Amen. So revelatory means it brings insight. Amen. So 
So Jesus says that uh, as revelation who was sorry, Jesus says, He that has revelation, more will be given to him. So revelation positions you to receive more. Okay? The more you get, the more you get. The more you get. You know? The more you are able to understand, the more you are able to go deeper. So in Revelation, you are, you are able to get more. So whoever does not have Revelation, what he has will be taken from him. So, you know, if you don't have the Revelation, then it means the enemy will take what you already you have, because you don't know that you have it. Yeah? It is not revealed to you. You are not, you don't know. You know, recently, I was in a shop, and I dropped 50 shillings, and I did not know. It was in the dark. So, I saw a man came, and picked it quickly, and went. Yeah? Now, that 50 book was there, and I did not know it is mine. So whoever saw it, took it and went with it. Then as I saw him going, I realized, ah, that was my 50 shillings. Then, because I, I knew the guy who had picked it, the next day, I, 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 I went with him and said, my friend, you took my 50 ball. And then, uh, you know, of course I was just joking with him. Then he turned out, Pastor, you deserve much more. Yes, sir. <laughs> then I left, I, I left it for him. Uh, so, you see, in that place, I did not know that fifty book is mine. But when I knew, uh, now I had to go to the person who took it. Now, you cannot restore what you are, is not revealed to you. Eh? You cannot go and fight for what you don't know. Eh? So, revelation helps you get more. But if you don't have revelation, even what is yours, the enemy takes it. Because you don't know. That's why some people say, in Noah, come my boy and move to Tarajana. How can God give you a marriage that to Tarajana? No, my marriage has to stay. Amen. Yeah. Then you know when you know it is yours, you are going to fight for it. Yeah. I think the Ashana come and move to Takana. So you are not sure whether you should continue the business. Or, you know, but if you know that God has sent you in a certain place, no matter the opposition, it is revealed to you. So you are able to secure. So revelation helps you protect that which belongs to you. Because it is revealed to you. So you are not giving the enemy an opportunity to do what? To just get away with it. You know, this is mine. So I'm going to protect. And as you protect it, you are able even to secure more. To secure more. So, revelation helps us to protect what God has given us. So the gospel of the kingdom makes us secure the kingdom. It makes us secure what belongs to the kingdom. You know, like the president of Kenya, imagine if he doesn't know the territory of Kenya. Museveni and the sun will come. And <laughs> yeah, that's in a light God knows. Because you remember just the other day they are saying, Uganda's older, you should be stupid. I don't know where. Now the Kenyans might know this is our boundary and we don't joke around with it. Yeah? But if you don't know your boundary, Somebody can just come in and play around with it, with whatever. Yeah. So you have to understand your boundary. And how we understand our boundaries, the far what God has given us, it is through revelation. Yeah. Like what? One of the things we see in revelation is what? We are limitless. You cannot tell us you can only earn this money. Yeah? We, we can add much more, more, and more. So you are not going to sell at 1,000 or 10,000 or 1 million or 10 billion. It is more and more. That's revelation. As you want, you get more.
more. Or you will say you are worth one trillion. No, we are much more than that. Amen. We are from heaven. And heaven, gold, your land, you have been good. That, that's the least that we can possess. Gold. So the kingdom, a message of empowerment. So the message of the kingdom empowers. Yes? It strengthens. It does not make people to be in bondage and helpless. When you hear the message of the kingdom, you get empowered. You feel like, yes, I can make it. Yes, I'm an energized. Yes, it is possible. Yeah. You know, religion will say, well, okay, what's that way? You know, the union will do better. But the gospel of the kingdom empowers. Matthew 16, 19. And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. So this message is a message of empowerment, authority. You know? It's given the disciples authority. That you have the authority. The heavens is agreeing with you. The heavens are is backing you. So you don't have nothing to fear. Imagine living uh, around here and state house is backing you. And the state house is saying, as far as you can possess, go on. Eh? If you are told that by the president today, eh? go to that estate as much as you can possess. What will you do? Eh? You start locating some prime places, some great things, because you have the mandate that only tell us what you want. Is it the land? Title deed is here. And then imagine you go there and say, I cannot see anything. Now the heavens have empowered us, and we cannot afford to say we are not seeing anything. You've been given authority from the heavens. The keys are symbolic of authority. You've been given authority from the heaven. Heaven is backing you. Eh? The heavens are saying, go on. You are being cheered by the heavens. Go on. So the church is to exercise this authority and properly manage the earth. Eh? So we have this authority to manage the earth, to take over from the enemy. Whatever the enemy is having grip on, we are there to take over. Eh? To bind the enemy and lose the people of God. Yeah, that's authority we have. So you are not the one that should escape and run away from the witch doctors and whatever. At what you forget the Ashara. At who put it? What do you know about her? What will you forget? No. Ha. Eh? You are the one that has authority. Can you imagine? Let, let me use this example. Can you imagine a chief running away? At Kunawezi or Musumbu Asam, you can be a president. Eh? See, see, that is laughable. Because, you know, the chief, the, that office is written, office of the president. They have access to security at a call. We say, yes, sir. We need to arrest this guy and that guy and that guy. Okay. This business here is illegal. Huh? Can we close it? At the authority of state house. The chief exercises it. And you know you are more than a chief. You represent the heavens. You have authority. So, wherever you are, heaven is there. Don't wait for another heaven. Eh? Wherever you are, heaven's authority is there. God is backing you. Holy Spirit, your teacher, is telling you and giving you wisdom to execute exact 
mindset of God. There is no error. You download from the Holy Ghost. So you are able to do it with authority that He deserves. Can you imagine doing something without a mistake? Have what confidence, what level of confidence will you have? High. So, depending on the Holy Ghost, you are not supposed to fear anything. Because He says and give you the right words to say anytime. Amen. So if things aren't right on the earth, it is because of the church, not the devil. Wow. <laughs> so don't blame the devil. Take responsibility. So if things are not right on the earth, it is because of the church. Because God has given the church authority. The devil has no authority. In, here, in fact, the authority the devil has is the one you have given him. Yeah. If, if, if you want him to kick him out anytime, you don't even need to consult. You've been given authority. Yeah? If you sense him anywhere, you just tell him it is illegal for you to be here. Get out. Yeah, you have that authority. We shall have a lot of people who are going to be here. We shall have a lot of people who are going to be here. We shall have a lot of people who are going to be here. We shall have a lot of people who Shetani ali nitembelea. Sasa ali nitembelea na hafu. Mwa wakanza discussion. How? How many cities with a thief you know has come to, has come to steal? And you discuss how you should steal your things. No. He's not even allowed around here. Yeah? So, it is not the devil's problem. It is the church. Because you have authority. Amen. The kingdom, a message of impartation. Matthew 13, 31. Another parable put he forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is like a grain of mustard seed, which a man took and sowed in his field. So you and I are created to leave the church and go into the world. Yeah, not, not to stay in the church. We are supposed to impact the world. Go there and impact a life that is different. So our coming together provides you the opportunity for divine strategy. So the church gathers for training. Okay? Every Sunday when we gather, it is a training center. Our assignment in the world. We are supposed to impact the world. Imagine if people would use the church as a training ground. Every Sunday will be a graduation day to go and change lives. Amen. So every Sunday, people are released to impact that way. Every son. They are empowered to go and change the world. It is a strategic meeting. Have you ever gone to a strategic meeting? Maybe for security of the estate? See, you know, we have seen some people are walking here around that are not, what do we do? So, church is a strategic meeting on Sunday. Yeah. It's a place where we strategize and impart our world. So the kingdom message proposes the question, how do I take my gift to the world and impose the principles, morals, character, and the value of the kingdom into the hearts of those in the world? You know, so how do I use my gift to go and change my world? That's the question we should be asking. I'm gifted, how do I use this gift? 
to change my neighborhood, to change the institution that I am into. How do I use my gift? And I love the word uh, used. How do I take my gift to the world and impose? You know? So kingdoms and imposts. You know, it's see what see what I'm asking you to come on when again and again. In kingdom, we use authority. We come to impose the kingdom of God through bring the principles. We are going to reinforce that needs to be reinforced. Eh? Yeah. So we are not going to the world as cowards, as people with no authority. We are going to the world as people with authority and the mandate. Amen. Mark 16, 15, and say unto them, Go ye unto the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Amen. So, the challenge is, go ye, not stay ye. Eh? Go ye. So maybe we want to challenge ourselves. When did I go? Eh? Have you gone this week? I was challenging some teachers and telling them, when you are teaching, do you teach for salary or do you teach as an assignment? Eh? When you are teaching. Because when you teach as an assignment, it's the game changes, the message changes. You become very strategic. But when you are waiting for, for salary, you want to please the one paying you, right? And the one paying you, if they tell you you have to get A's in this class, so you will have to drill the children to get A's. And that's why sometimes you have people that are from school, but they don't look like they've never been to school. Huh? We have people that are practicing, but they're not competent in their practice. Doctors, but they are not competent in being a doctor. How can a doctor Sahau Makasi for Tumbo Yamutu? You heard that? Yeah. They are not competent because it is for salary. It is for salary. And any other assignment. But when it, if it is your assignment, you will make sure any person you meet with, there is an impartation. They have seen God. Their life is changed. Someone was, was feeling like dying, they're saying, I'm going to leave. Eh? You know, some doctors confirm people's death. Eh? You go to the office and say, Just prepare, just accept that he didn't want our wish. Can you bring your relatives? You just start helping them too. So they are, they are there to confirm the departure of some people. But now, if imagine a doctor is of the kingdom mindset. Whatever they the impart life, they will give hope. But they say the quickest recovery is when you are thinking right. And when you are positive, even the body just responds. And and you know God made the body to heal itself. When you have the right mindset, you will live a very healthy life. Very healthy. Because the body, the way God made it, it just heals itself. When you have the healthy mindset. So the greatest disease is maybe our, in the minds of people. Amen. So the kingdom message is a message of impartation. Amen. Yeah, we are done with that book. Amen. Let's appreciate God for it. Amen. So we can go to the next one.
they are kingdom strategies for the 21st century. Man, we are getting equipped for our century to be competent enough. Amen. So Mark chapter 4, the introduction. Mark chapter 4, verse 30 to 32. And it said, Where and to shall we liken to the uh, like the kingdom of God? Or in what comparison shall we compare it? It's like a grain of mustard seed, which when it is sown in the earth, is less than all the seeds that be in the earth. But when it is sown, it groweth up and becometh greater than all herbs, and shooteth out great branches. So that the fowls of the air may lodge under the shadow of it. Amen. So, in other words, don't despise the kingdom of God. And don't judge it by the beginning. By its beginning. Because it is impactful. And the kingdom of God is impactful. You will see the change in the lives of people. So there is an obvious shifting in the body of Christ today whereby believers are being challenged to demonstrate the gospel they preach. No? There is a challenge for us. People want to see the demonstration of the gospel we preach. Eh? In real life, they want to see it every day. Eh? No. They want to see it now. Yeah? So we have, we have to make it relevant now. Yeah? So we want money when we want money. Not one day. Now. Man. So the demonstration is a product of kingdom thinking among believers. Kingdom citizens. Believers are kingdom citizens. So for us to demonstrate the kingdom, then we have to think like people of the kingdom. We have to think the kingdom way. So we have to leave the religious thinking away. Because most people have demonstrated religion too much and there are no results. People have demonstrated traditions too much and there are no results. So it is a time we demonstrate the kingdom. So this type of attitude among believers calls for strategic thinking in an effort to win the world, the, the, the world that is the people and the property, back to God from the hands of the enemy who is Satan. So we have to have a strategic thinking, an intentional thinking. You know, strategic thinking is where you have, you have actions and plans to take to get certain results. You know, you are thinking, we need to get these results. What do we do about it? You know, we need to change our world. What do we do about it? Okay? That is strategic thinking. It is that thinking that is looking for solutions. You know, we want people changed. How do we do it? So we, the kingdom of God, are designed for 21st century relevance. Amen? God brought you in this generation because he knows you are competent enough. You are relevant. You have the ability and the capacity for the 21st century. Yeah. He knew that this is the generation for you to impact. There is no mistake you are in this generation. You are the Abraham of today. Yeah, you are the Abraham of today. So position yourself as a relevant person. So we in the kingdom of God are created for the influencing and shaping of our culture. So we are the ones that have the mandate to shape our culture. We are supposed to bring the culture of the kingdom. So we, the kingdom of God, are here to permeate society 
with the culture, values, and morals of God. Permit is spread through. You know, permit is to spread, spread through the society with the culture, values, and morals of God. You see, if you look at Africa especially, you are realizing that the Asian countries or the Western countries want to bring their culture. Now, you know, anytime you teach somebody your culture, it means you are the one ruling them. Yeah. So you find even in our university, the people that are doing business with Kenya, they want Kenyans to learn their language. The Kenyans to learn their language. And then as you learn their language, they give you opportunities to go to their nation. Because they want you to do things their way. Now, imagine the representatives of those countries are influencing foreign nations. How about us, the children of God? How about us? We are supposed to influence cultures for God. Yeah, we are supposed to bring the kingdom of God to every place we go. We influence their way of doing things to be God's way. Yes. When you put us in business, we bring the language of the kingdom and the culture of the kingdom. Put us in sports, we bring the language of the kingdom and the culture of the kingdom. You put us into counseling and marriages and teaching, we are supposed to bring the culture of the kingdom, the kingdom of God. Until we are saturated everywhere. You know, the, the, until there is a copy, copy paste, kingdom, kingdom, kingdom. You know, when people saw the first church, they started calling them Christians. Why? Because they had the culture of Christ. They saw these people, they are just behaving like Christ. Let's call them Christians. Eh? So maybe let's ask ourselves, how are you branded? In Jesus' day, 
there were great demonstrations of healing, deliverance, and justice among the people. Now, two things to know there. The gospel is good news, not bad news. Okay? The message of the gospel, the message of the kingdom is good news. Our breaking news is good news. Yes. Every time we bring news, it is good news. So if someone sees you, they see good news. Yeah, when you go and visit the hospital, you have good news. When you visit your family, you have good news. So the, the people should change their bad news to good news. Because when we receive, remember, when we receive information, we receive it according to the word. And the word gives us good news. So you're not going to say, I have a bad report for you today. No. We always carry good news. Amen. And there is demonstration. You see, when we hear some people's speeches, for example, the president, there is an expectation. For, for example, right now, what are people expecting? So every time the president is talking, uh, next <laughs> year. That's wait until next year. But in our kingdom, there are no disappointments. Uh, in the kingdom of God, they come with good news. And the good news was demonstrated by healing, deliverance, and justice among the people. So the message we carry has healing. So every time people are hearing us, they are healed. Emotionally healed. Their body is failing healing. You know, so the gospel of the kingdom, the message of the kingdom does not bring stress. So don't carry a message of stress. Amen. Deliverance. People feeling the way bound, they receive deliver deliverance. Matthew 9 35. And Jesus went about all the cities and villages teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing every sickness and every disease among the people. Now note, note some, every, every sickness and every disease. So, the, our gospel, the message of the kingdom carries a package and it's called healing. Amen. Imagine if you are somebody sees you are seeing healing, eh? somebody sees you are seeing problem solved, somebody seeing and seeing the most wise person has ever lived has just arrived, eh? somebody has a message from the kingdom of heaven has just arrived. You know, you even if someone was in a hurry, they say, "I want to talk to you. Let's sit and talk." Yeah, because you are carrying the message of the kingdom. So shaping Carter, so the kingdom, our, the kingdom of God shapes Carter, means transforming nations. Mark chapter 4, verse 30 to 32. Let's read together. And he said, Where and to shall we liken the kingdom of God? Or with what comparison shall we compare it? It is like a grain of a master's seed, which when it is sown on the earth, is less than all the seeds that be in the earth. But when it is sown, it groweth up and becometh greater than all herbs, and shooteth out great branches, so that the fowls of the air may lodge under the shadow of it. Amen. So, verse 32, when it is sown, when it is planted, when you plant the kingdom, it takes over. 
Eh? As we have seen here, it says it grows up and becomes greater than all the house, all the trees around. So the kingdom of God planted.